Good afternoon and welcome to OB Acres. Um, I'm starting this project on this Ford 7600 for a friend of mine. It's never had air conditioning and we're putting air conditioning in it. I ordered all the parts from a company called AP Air. They were very helpful. After I thought I had what I needed, I called him and he said, well, no, this is, this is a cheaper route to go to buy individual parts, but I got, they're very helpful if you ever want to do, do a product like this, call them. But here's the bracket. This, this bracket's gonna go on this right here. It bolts right on, just like the guy said. When this, and then the compressor will go on there. I gotta take this whole hood off to get the new condenser that goes in here. I gotta move the oil cooler up, but I gotta take it off to get it to fit in there, so. That's what I'm in the process of doing. Then I gotta replace the heater core with this, the evaporator heater core combination that goes up there. And I'm gonna try to get all this bolted up. He suggested I bolt everything up and then figure out what fittings I want and call back and order them. So uh, it's got a separate receiver dryer when I'm out somewhere. Uh, but uh, I gotta take this hood off. So I'll get that done and I'll show you a what I got going on. Good morning and welcome to episode of OB Acres. Uh, tractor, Ford tractor, air conditioning, and installation part two. Uh, yesterday I worked on it. I had my the first part video. I guess this is still part one, but I'll probably put these two videos together, but I wanted to show you a little bit of my update. I got a couple things done. Um, I got the compressor mounted in the, in the condenser position in there. I have to, I have to uh, make some mounting brackets for the condenser. But the compressor's mounted. I'll show you here in a second. I just wanted to, it's, uh, I can show you like this. It's mounted on there. Uh, it, the, bolt, uh, the mount bolts right up real easy. The biggest problem is figuring out the uh, how to run the lines. Let me stop this and I'll show you. Okay. This mount they sold me just mounts right up. This is this is a Ford 7600, which is the lower where you straddle the transmission. So you don't have as much room in front of the radiator as like the 7700s and the 6700s. They're more like my TW20. They have a regular, they got more room in front of the radiator. I think easier to, there's just more room to do everything. These, these are not that way, but it's possible to do it. It's just a little harder. So this is, this is the compressor that they sold me. It's a Sandin SD7 heavy duty. And then the bracket they sold me, um, it goes with that. I don't know the number, but if you call AP Air, if you want to do one of these, you call AP Air out of Iowa, they will help you with every, whatever you need. They've been very helpful to me. So now I'm going to get my, order my lines to Monday, tomorrow, and this will be my discharge line. I believe that goes to the condenser. Um, I have to look at, I have to look at the diagram. But I'll order, there's a fit. These are called tube O-ring fittings coming off the compressor. I didn't know that. That's what I knew for my semi too. But I'm gonna come, they make one that's like a J. It comes out and it goes right up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get one of them to go to the condenser. Then I'll probably just get a straight, come out of the suction hose goes to your evaporator. But I think I'm gonna go, I think you, I think you go to the uh, receiver dryer first. So I don't know where I'm gonna mount that. I might mount that right here. He said I can mount it anywhere. But come out of here with a with a straight. So I gotta straighten that J for the two bowl rings. And then on the condenser, there's the condenser that's in there. I gotta make some brackets to mount it, but it barely fits, but that's what it's supposed to do. The condenser down here, I got this this one coming out. Just get a straight for that and I'll probably get a 90 for this one to go up. And then I'll come out, I'm gonna drill holes to come out right below this air air filter line. 
And then I have to relocate this oil cooler in front of it. So I got to redo these lines. We're going to have to bring these lines. There's oil cooler lines are right there. If you can see them. I gotta, I'm gonna come up here and along here and in the same area and down because it, there's no, there's, this is, it's gonna cover, that condenser is gonna cover this cover up where they used to be. But I'm gonna put the evaporator heater core in here. That's, that should be too hard. I gotta, it's sitting there in the box. And here's the, here's the receiver dryer. And uh, the temperature switch. I'm gonna mile up in the K. I'll work on that tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. We got time, it's still March, and I just want to get it all put together, and I can charge it, but we'll have, we'll have some warm days here. It's supposed to be in the 60s this week, and we'll have some 80 degree, 70 degree days coming here pretty soon, and Ohio in March, you always get a couple of them, and then April, it's gonna be, it'll be, it'll start to warm up, so I, I, I don't want to charge it completely till it's warmer out, that's when you're supposed to do them, but. But I'll get that in there. It's going pretty good. The compressor bolted right on and I make my hood, the hood's probably gonna be all right as long as I don't have to tighten this all the way up because it'll hit, it's hitting. Some of them hoods, they cut a notch out on them, but we'll see if I have to. And the hood pops off. There's only four bolts and it comes off real easy. Not a big deal, but I gotta get that, that back on. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun project. I, it's a challenge, but this will be a nice tractor for him when it's all done. So I just want to give a little update on that, and I'll keep you, I'll keep me in the, keep the videos coming and show you my progress. Thank you. Okay, working on the 7600 tonight. Uh, I don't know my last video. I'll show you this part of the first one, but. Got the compressor on. I got the hood open up here. I got the evaporator and the heater core, the new one in. Uh, on these, this side bolted right up okay. Where all the connections are, That's that was fine. Um, right now, I am hooking the drain lines up. The drains were never hooked up on this tractor. It's never had air conditioning. We can see the plug right here. You can see this plug right here. It goes, there's a hole that goes in here. And you take these corner, these covers off the corners inside here. And then you can get at everything. And then the, I got to route the hoses that go down in this hole. And I'll take care of it, one on each side. I'm doing that right now, but I'll show you the other side here. Uh -oh. What I was working on last day. So I put a radio in for him too. That was quite a deal. But this bracket, I had to flip it around and drill new holes in it because they used to be up here for just a heater core. Just had to flip it around. I might have to cut this a little bit off, but once I did that, it bolted right up. Got the heater core hooked up, and it's. Just ready to go and waiting on the lines and fittings and my hoses should show up tomorrow or the next day. But I got this hose in already. As you can see, I got the, I don't know if you can see or not, but the hose goes through the, goes through the floor. It doesn't go out on my TW, it goes out and around, but on this one, it's, you can't really get at it, but it's going through the floor, that's the main thing. So it'll drain out. I got the compressor mounted. I'm gonna point these fittings down if I showed you that last time. And the one I'm getting the J that go up to the condenser and this one's gonna come a 45 down and, the, and the, up to the evaporator. And the same way on that, I take these covers off. You take all these covers off to get to the hoses. It's pretty not easy. It's pretty nice installation. The first next thing I gotta do, I got the condenser mounted in there. I gotta make some brackets yet. I'm gonna work on that in the morning, I think, maybe. And then that's ready to go on. So I wanted to show that. So I'll get you another one here on part two when I get to the <laughs> 